What's going on YouTube? Plower Bells here back with another VGC Spotlight video and today we're looking at Fluttermane. So um, if you remember in the last couple of videos we were looking at the three starters, okay, because you know the game was fresh, uh, it was recently released of course and you know everybody's been talking about the, the three starters, um, how good they could be uh, VGC wise, but we're, we, we've done that and now we're back to the, the other, what I think, more stronger Pokemon, right? So we started with Roaring Moon and now we're back uh, into Fluttermane. So, um, you know, this gen has a lot of good fairies um, and you, we're, we're going to need them because there's also a lot of good dark types. Uh, and Fluttermane fits that description against those dark types very, very well. So, what we're going to do again is to uh, look at the sets that we could run with Fluttermane. We'll take a look at the stats, uh, we'll look at the typing and potential threats that uh, pose uh, are, are to, to Fluttermane. And then we'll take a look at some potential partners. All right, and then uh, we'll do like, you know, a little bit of soft team building with them, right? So uh, let's just go ahead and get started here with the stats. All right, so uh, looking at the base stats for Fluttermane and, you know, it's a tale of two cities almost, right? So you, you, if you remember like Mischievous Miss Magus, this is a, a very similar stat line because that's really what this mod is based off of. Uh, so not too impressive in terms of the HP and defense, right? 55 and 55, that's pretty much paper, right? <laughs> Uh, and then the real stats come in with the last three stats. So special attack, 135, that's a lot. Special defense, 135, also a lot. And the speed, 135, also very much a lot. Okay, so, you know, it's a very bulky, very fast special attacker on the special defense side. But in terms of physical defense uh, and HP, uh, it's pretty lacking there, right? But like pretty much all the Paradox mines, you got Protosynthesis, so when you have that energy booster or if there's sun out, um, you're going to get um, a boost in your highest stat or uh, if it's speed, then you get times 1.5, right? So really, really good. Uh, and, and, you know, a lot of these Paradox mods are pretty good. Uh, it's just uh, how do you want to use them and what kind of team you want to put them on. But uh, again, so what we're going to be doing is like basically trying to build it in terms of like a special sweeper. Uh, and then try and support it uh, in terms of team building like you want like intimidate or like reflect on your team Or maybe even a little bit of redirection just to like help compensate this this physical defense, right? Because you know these these physical moves even if it's not a super effective move They're just gonna run through flutter main, right? So you kind of have to protect it. it's rather frail on that end, but in terms of like a special uh, Defensive side, so it's almost pretty much a tank, right? So I mean you do have to compensate a little bit for this HP, but other than that you know, it's got a, it's got some good coverage moves, uh, and we're gonna need it for a lot of the dark types that you see in the meta, right? So Ghost Fairy is really, really nice. Um, and if you look at other fast mons, uh, pretty much the only thing that can really outspeed it, uh, that really threatens it, uh, is Dragapult, right? Because of the ghost typing. So you gotta be aware of Dragapult. Um, not so much some of these guys. I mean, you're, I don't really expect to see Barrascuta all that often, and you know, the Iron Bundle. While we do expect to see it, and it does outspeed it by one for some reason. Um, either way, I don't think it's uh, too big of a deal. Now, you do speed tie with Chien Pao, okay? And this is one that I do expect to see uh, in the meta quite often. It's a nice little check there because you always have a good fairy move into it. And if you look at Chien Pao's special defense, it's not all that great. So you should be able to pretty much just one-shot this thing. Um, and then from there, you know, you look at some of the other stuff like, um, you know, Weeba, Miascarada. Okay, good. You know, nice, fast dark types, you know, Fluttermane runs through them. Um, you know, Noivern, Cyclazar, also dragons, you run through them, you're a fairy type. Roaring Moon, again, this is another one, this is like pretty much, might be the, just as the popular Paradox Mon as, as Fluttermane. Um, you, Fluttermane does very well, right? Four times weakness to, to fairy, uh, so definitely, definitely gonna wanna have to deal with Roaring Moon here, so good answer there. Um, Salazzle could pose a threat. But I don't know how common is going to be in BGC, right? So maybe it has a little bit more use than, than years past, but, you know, I don't, I, I wouldn't, like, put it up there just yet. Uh, Iron Valiant, all right, another one. You know, your fairy coverage is really, really good against Iron Valiant. I really like this thing, Iron Valiant. We're going to, can't wait to do a spotlight video on this thing soon. Okay. Um, and then you just keep going down the list. All right. Dengar, Grafai, eh. Like, and then um, Iron Jugulus, again, another dark type. Uh, that you're going to want to have to deal with it. And then uh, Garchomp, again, also an A tier mod. You know, good good answer there. All right, now Chi, we'll, we'll talk about this towards the end of the video when we talk about potential pairs. 
right? Um, these two go well together, by the way, Chiyu and Flutterbeam. Um, and we'll talk more about that towards the end, but but just so that you know, that's also another option that you can do. Um, Hydreigon, and then another another Dark Dragon type that's four times weak. Uh, so good answer there. Uh, Mimikyu, the other Ghost Fairy, that, that's like the Trick Room Setters, slow and bulky. Um, Houndoom is interesting, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay there. Um, and then, you know, I, I'm still like going through that on this list and it's just like, okay, you see all the dark types, Murkrow, but you know, that's like a prankster setup on, um, but yeah, like you, you have a lot of good use for flutter main and, and you're going to need it against all the dragons and pretty much all the dark types. Um, and I, I could just keep going here. Uh, but honestly you get the idea, right? So, um, oh, crooked. okay. Yeah, that, that's, that's totally fine. So now what we're going to do is like, let's talk about a couple sets here that you're going to want to use Flutter main for, uh, and then we'll, we'll do like some soft team building, right? So let's just talk about some of these sets. Okay. So the first set that I do want to talk about is just like a straight up life orb set, you know, for a lot of damage. Uh, and again, you, you can get the speed boost, uh, when you have protosynthesis. So if you can get speed and damage, you know, with this base special attack, uh, that's, that's going to be very, very good. So. Uh, what I want to do here is obviously just go like timid max speed here and one reason again that you want to go max speed is because because this flutter main is going to be so common um, at the very least you don't want to really want to lose those speed ties right so at the very least uh, not not lose those speed ties. You, you don't want to like lose to another flutter main because you, you were a little bit slower like this right so you always want to go max speed so at the very least it comes down to a speed tie that's what I meant to say all right but in terms of how we want to max out the uh, special attack and the bulk here, uh, let's just do the move sets first before I get into that. So um, it does get dazzling gleam, so another good uh, spread move. You know, great coverage, gonna do a lot of damage. Uh, and then from here, Shadow Ball, your single target move, uh, your single target stab. You know, if you go into Terra Ghost, this thing does a ton of damage, especially with the Life Orb. All right, so there's that. And then from here. Um, I, I do like Mystical Fire here, uh, and the reason why is not because you're reducing special attack damage, but uh, remember, how do you how do you like hit Flutter Main pretty hard? You, you know, you need a Steel type, um, and there's a lot of Steel types in the meta. And how do you beat a Steel type with Fire? So if you can just melt them with a, a Life Orb, Mystical Fire with this base special attack. Um, you, you you have a you have good counterplay right and that's the beauty of, of also like terra fire on this thing if you choose to go for it but i think terra fairy or terra ghost is the way to go mystical fires is like a really good coverage move against those steel types and you can just straight up just go protect here nothing um too crazy here and then from here how do we do the the cv spread so again what i like to do is you know i don't i don't just i don't like to just do this right because this is like kind of lazy i mean is it good yeah it's it's okay it's fine but you know i always like to optimize my life orb chip damage and my hp so because i know that life orb does one tenth of my hp per turn uh, i'm gonna try and optimize that so what i'm gonna do is try to aim for an hp that ends in a nine so something like this um and now what ends up happening is you if you do a little bit of math 139 divided by 10 is 13.9 which rounds down to 13. So you're taking 13 points of HP damage per turn. If you break the threshold like this to 140, uh, now it's 14 damage of HP that you're taking per turn it, because you broke the threshold. Why am I taking more HP when I can just do this and undercut that value? And now I, I, I've optimized my, my HP, right? Because if I do something like this, for example, 131, that's still 13 damage. Right, 132, 133, that's still 13 damage. So why not add a little bit more HP where I'm still taking 13 damage, but it's the most amount that I'll be taking, right? That's still 13, okay? And then from here, you can just um, add one point into the bulk a little bit, just almost, just, yeah, just pretty much it. And then just go into the special attack here. Um, and this is a, a standard um, life orb uh, set for Flutter main. nothing too crazy here. Uh, it's just meant to, you know, be max speed and do a bunch of damage and then just optimize your your life orb chip right so um that's really all you need to know with that set uh and then i do want to do another life orb set uh but this one's going to be slightly different and i'll explain why i'll just copy and paste it here uh but i'm going to adjust this spread a little bit uh because now what i want to do is consider okay what's another 
strong steel type that I expect to be around the meta, right? Um, and that's something like a Goldango here, okay? Because this is uh, this is a pretty cool mod. I gotta say, this is a, a special steel type. It's a ghost steel type. So again, ghost is good against Fluttermane. Steel is good against Fluttermane. So um, it's something that's on my radar. And again, very good special attack stat, 133. And it's got pretty good bulk, like 87, 95, 91. And then this speed stat is what kind of hinders it a little bit. But, you know, this is a kind of speed tier where it's like middling. And, you know, it's too fast for Trick Room, but not fast enough to be a sweeper. So I would expect something like this to be on like a Trick Room team. I'm sorry, a Tailwind team. Okay, so what I was trying to do with this Flutter main, and I'll do, redo the HPs in a second, uh, EVs in a second, is I wanted to do something like this. Uh, and you have this option as well. Okay. Uh, now what this does is if Goldango's under Tailwind, if Fluttermane has a plus one boost, uh, you can still outspeed uh, the Goldango, right? So if I just do the math real quick here, uh, Timid, 149. Uh, so imagine this is under Tailwind. Again, if you do your math, uh, 149 times two, uh, it comes out to 298, okay? So what number beats 298? I gotta get 299, all right, or 300. Uh, and now, if I do 200 times 1.5, which is basically just 20 plus 100, uh, it's 300, right? So if I get the speed boost, uh, which I am, uh, now Fluttermane uh, will outspeed this Goldango, Undertale, right? Which is important, I would say. Uh, you do that here, of course, uh, but at the very least, uh, what this does now is I, I make it so that I drop my speed a little bit, uh, for that reason, but add a little bit more special attack so I'm that I'm dealing a little bit more damage than the first build. Um, but again, I'm still relatively fast. Now, that being said, uh, now you are going to lose uh, those speed ties with other max speed flutter mains. So use this with discretion. Uh, but again, it's just something that I, I added in there. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to show you a couple of other sets. Uh, that you could try with Fluttermane, and then we'll do a little bit of soft team building. So let's look at a couple other sets. Okay, so we did some Life Orb sets, and now what I want to do is cover uh, a another still high damage set, uh, but this one's also relatively straightforward. Uh, let's do a Choice Specs set. So with Choice Specs, uh, the idea here again is again, your max speed, so you're still getting um, this speed boost here. And this is the one where I will do 252, 252. Uh, so I'm getting a speed boost because of Protosynthesis, it's my highest stat, uh, 1.5. And now, even though I don't have the Life Orb, I have a Choice Specs, okay? So I'm going to lock myself into a move, but I'm going to be doing a lot of damage uh, with the Choice Specs, right? Because now here you go for Dazzling Gleam, your spread move, uh, you got your Shadow Ball, your single target move, you got your Mystical Fire, um, your, your, your Fire move for the, your Steel types. And then here you have a couple options. Um, you could do single target Moonblast, okay? I think that's also pretty good. You know, Choice Specs Moonblast um, hits like a truck. It's a stat move. Um, you have also an option for Dark Pulse, okay? Um, so that's also kind of cool. Um, if you're struggling with like the bulky water types like a Rotom or maybe even like a Palafin, uh, depending on what your team needs, you could even do like the Energy Ball coverage. Um, is there like another type of special grass move? Uh, yeah, so Energy Ball coverage is also pretty good if you want to you know, need, if you need something for, for those bulky water types, um, you know, but what else we got here? The, uh, power gem, no, no, I don't think you need that. It, I don't think you need the second moves either because then the dark coverage starts becoming a problem. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, those are the only like couple moves I would recommend. Um, so you could do like dark pulse here, you know, just in case like, okay, you know, dark cover, uh, ghost coverage uh, coming into flutter main real hot. Uh, I can change into Terra Dark, uh, then, you know, just click Dark Pulse. Um, and then this way, the, the Ghost attack just doesn't do anything, right? So uh, that's one option. Uh, but if you like single target Moonblast or Energy Ball, again, those are also very, very good options. I'll keep Dark Pulse for now. Uh, but again, you have that option, right? But again, this is another good high damage set um, that's not Life Orb, but, you know, it's really, really nice. Um, Scarf is also another thing. Uh, you can do that as well. So this way, um, if you want to do Scarf, I, I think Scarf also is okay. You know, so this way you don't lose those speed ties still because, you know, you still add 252 to uh, 
uh, the other Flutter mains. Um, but I do like uh, the spec set, you know, just because of this this damage output that you can deal with. All right, so that's another option you can do with Flutter main. Uh, so let's continue. Okay, so another Flutter main set that you can run is what I like in in the Focus Sash set. So you know you can consider okay, my Flutter main is kind of frail, uh, so I just need a sash. Okay, so this will at least let me live. And again, another just like the spec scarf set, another one where you're gonna want two five two two five two. You know that nothing really needs to be said there. Of course, it's a sash mod. Might as well uh, just go max max. Uh, and then from here, just you know, again, same idea with the the two moves, the two stat moves, shadow ball and dazzling gleam. But this time around, uh, well, of course, we're gonna have protect in the last slot. Uh, I do like trick room here. Okay, and thank God Fluttermane does get trick room. This is also pretty cool. Um, if you're running on a team with Torkoal, okay, so, you know, because Torkoal sets the sun, Fluttermane gets benefit from the sun, uh, and then now your Torkoal is poised to sweep, you know, you can just click uh, Eruption for days if you're able to pivot, uh, and get position with your Torkoal, uh, but, you know, again, when you do, like, team building with these two, they're, they're gonna be on the same team, depending on what you want, uh, and Trickum can help, uh, and not only that, you know, you can use it for, you know, either flipping Trick Room, uh, if you're a faster team and you you know you just want to like pin that slot so that they can't uh, go for trick room, uh, or if they want to click tailwind, uh, and then you can just you know surprise them and click trick room, and now uh, the speed is heavily in your favor uh, because you know you click trick room they click tailwind. So uh, that's one good reason to have this kind of set, uh, and you could even run this with like you know a mungus. Uh, with the Torkoal, you know, a lot of cool slow mods that could, you know, be benefit from Trick Room here. Uh, but you, you have that surprise factor with the Focus Sash set here. So uh, I do like it for that reason. So again, so far we've got damage sets, you know, with Life Orb and Choice Specs. But this one has a, a little bit more utility because of the, the Trick Room option, right? So uh, consider that when team building. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, keep moving. I got a couple more sets here and then uh, a little bit of soft building. All right, so with this set, uh, all right, so I just want to say about these next two sets, they're a little bit more ambitious. This is like, you know, if you're if you're bored one night and if you want to try something that's a little different uh, but still could work, uh, then you're gonna then you can consider these next two sets. So um, let's say you didn't really have sun, but you know you still want this photosynthesis ability, right? Uh, so then you can go with the booster. Uh, I, I keep typing energy booster, but it's actually called booster energy. All right, um, so there's that option. Uh, and then what, what you can do here is actually go for a bulky set. So right now we've been going for like our frail sets, you know, with just max max, except for like the first life board where we have a little bit of bulk. But now instead of like timid, uh, now what if we go modest uh, and then we have a little bit slower speed, uh, but we still hit like some benchmarks. So at the very least you have that and maybe you have other speed control options on your team to help alleviate the, the loss of the timid speed. Uh, but then you can add some bulk. All right, so I'll show you what this looks like, um, but I do like a, a modest set here. Uh, so this way you can like deal a little bit more damage uh, than a timid set. But again, I will like to still go max speed here, 187. Uh, that's okay. All right, and then from here, now I, I had to be careful a little bit uh, because you know the benchmark here, you see how you go from an EV bump to 185 to 187. I was gonna leave it here like this, but because this speed ties with my speed, um, and because of photosynthesis, I'm not getting the speed boost anymore. I'm getting uh, a special attack boost, you, you know, with the speed tie. So that was a little unfortunate. I was a little sad about that. Um, but, you know, still going with 185, that's still okay. Like, honestly, that's still okay. Um, I, I still want that speed boost. It still helps me outspeed stuff like Dragapult and whatever. Um, you know, and this is also if I'm not worried about like another Flutter Vein on the team. Um, but what you could do here uh, is again, uh, go with uh, a modest set here and then go for a bulkier spread. So uh, something like this, you know, one point in the bulk here, actually a little bit more than in the defense part department, but I'm going to go for 100 HP here. Uh, this is just so that um, at the very least I can optimize for sand chip uh, because, you know, Tyranitar is running around <laughs> uh, with his sand storm. And, you know, remember sand chip is uh, 1 16th of your max HP per, per turn if you have your trusty calculator on you. You know 143 divided by 16 8.9375 so it'll do about eight damage per turn um but again a little bit more hp bulk uh and then you can add a little bit more into the defense department so there's that 
and again there's there's no way for the opponent to know this right especially in like a tournament setting like they see like oh wow he's a bulky flutter main where I, I i did not expect that um so this could save you um and i really wish i had the damage calculator on me um so this way i could see uh you know if i, I could count for like actual stuff but uh there there's no updated calc yet so we'll have to wait until like the ladder goes live uh but at the very least we have these options and again this uh defense was just left over both uh but more or less the same move set here dazzling gleam shadow ball um mystical fire uh and protect okay so bulky mana set pretty good uh again if you're ambitious and if you want to try it if there's no sun on your team uh and you want to just use a booster energy and you don't have access to life orb either uh then do this right but if you have access to life orb then this changes a little bit obviously uh no reason to just you know i would re-optimize the evs a little bit but uh yeah so if you want to do a booster energy set this is it and now we'll do one more set okay the last set that i want to consider is a, a calm mindset now again that's the reason why i left it for last like this is probably like very ambitious and maybe in some cases might be unnecessary uh just because uh, a couple reasons one you deal so much damage with a life orb already uh, as well as the choice specs uh two i don't think you need calm mind um but again it is an option for you the viewer if you want to try it and if you want to consider it and you know you're a little bit frail on the physical defensive side so i don't know how you can set this up i guess with like redirection and intimidate support you can do it especially if you have a mungus on your team with along with torkoal and this is like a, a trick room team um but uh again if you're ambitious you can try this one uh it's more or less the same kind of set the only re thing i would change is just like one ev difference here and i'll show you what it is in a second um but in terms of like item wise like i would just go leftovers so this way i have like a calm mind alternating protect uh so this way i get recovery every turn uh, and then i have end game options against special attackers uh like a gold angle for example uh and then i could you know prolong it and win that end game by just going for like calm minds uh so let me just adjust this here uh but yeah so you know with the leftovers again that's where you're getting the recovery but the one change i would just do is this uh where i take a little bit off uh in the special attack like this actually no i'm just gonna do this yeah so now uh with the leftovers recovery 144 um divided by 16 now you get nine so you're getting a perfect nine hp recovery per turn whereas if you left that 143 8.9 so you're getting only eight recovery per turn, right? So you wanna make sure that you get a whole number uh, when you have leftover sets. So this way you get an accurate HP recovery. But yeah, this is the only real change I would do besides adding Call Mine to the set. Um, and again, this is also if you're not worried about steel types on your team and you have enough you know, fire or ground coverage on your team, because you can see I, I erased Mystical Fire um, because you really need Protect, right? Because this is what helps you get uh, extra recovery every other turn um so yeah uh, again if you're ambitious if you want to try call mind uh definitely consider it again i left it for the sixth and final set uh just for that reason i think the other sets uh like life orb or the trick room set even the spec set uh slash scarf set uh is a little bit more viable uh but if you want to try it try it it's an option you know i'm not i'm not saying don't do it but you know uh, i think the others are just a little bit better right so uh yeah those are the sets uh, and now let's do a little bit of a soft team building and see what kind of potential partners you could uh, uh, pair Fluttermane with. Okay, so if you want to like consider team building with Fluttermane, uh, there's a couple ways you could do it. Uh, again, you could do it like a balanced way or you could do it like with a, a weather team with Torkoal, right? And that's how I would try and do it. Uh, those two approaches, at least in the early, Ghana, early on in the meta. So here's your Fluttermane okay i think it does really well with chiyu i mentioned this in the beginning of the video um you know because here's the thing you know you're a ghost type uh so you're weak to ghosts uh chiyu being a dark type uh takes care of that right you have something like dark pulse here uh and then uh flutter main you're weak to steel okay well what if you had a fire type on the team chiyu does that too so chiyu is not only the perfect counterpart uh, you get access to Heat Wave here, I believe. Yeah, you do. And then not only that, look at Chiyu's ability. Beads are ruined. Special defense stats, they're reduced. So now Fluttermane and Chiyu, they're doing like big damage, especially like Dazzling Gleam plus Heat Wave combinations. 
right? And then maybe like you slap on life orb on one of these mods. I don't know which one you want to put it on. Depends on you. But now we're talking like big damage from these two. So, you know, these two uh, are very, very nice. Uh, and then you start off with a fire core like this. Uh, and then from here, now we'll just like add four other options and just centralize it around these two. So a, a Flutter main Chiyu combination as a starting core is really, really nice. Um, I still want to drag it on the team. So I do like Garchomp here um, for this reason. Uh, I think Garchomp along with uh, Iron Head. Uh, and then I would just give this thing the Life Orb, uh, to be honest. Uh, and then, so like, and then maybe just like Sash this thing. Yeah, I would just do this, uh, potentially. So then with Garchomp here, you know, with Iron Head, you, you're Terra Steel. Where are you? Okay. So this is another good option to have, uh, you know, as a starting point. A good physical attacker, right? We got we got the special coverage down. Uh, Garchomp is a really really nice dragon. Uh, uh, very very good with like taking those other trick hits. Of course, you know you don't take any. Um, and then it's a nice pivot, you know, into Chiyu. Like if a ice attack is coming in, you just swap into this. Uh, really really nice. Or if an ice attack is incoming, then you just go into Steel. Uh, and then you know you, you don't really take too much damage here. Uh, but good physical attacker to start. Uh, I do want a little bit of intimidate on the team. You know, Arcanine was actually kind of good here, but because we already have a fire type, you can also always go with Gyarados. Uh, I think Gyarados with intimidate is actually really, really strong uh, in the VGC meta right now because uh, not only that, it, you know, just like water coverage. Um, I got a water, I got a fire, I got a water type on the team, and then I'm obviously going to be looking for a grass type over here. Um, but you know, with Gyarados being a flying type, you can Earthquake next to it if you want. I think it makes a lot of sense here. Um, but again, Gyarados can also be like a nice little physical sweeper with like a Dragon Dance set. Um, but yeah, and then maybe just like slap on the Lumberry on one of these things, right? Um, but yeah, like Gyarados with Garchomp, really, really nice. So now from here, um, I, you know, I, I got two physical attackers. They're prone to intimidate. Uh, I would like Tailwind on the team. You know, I would like a little bit of speed control. Um, obviously this can still go for trick room um, but then from here you know like if I want to go like the fast route or and I, I want to discourage intimidate I like Braviary here okay I think Braviary uh, with Tailwind is really nice and again another flying type uh, that uh, can uh, be next to Garchomp you can click Earthquake next to it um, Braviary doesn't like electric attacks neither does Gyarados you pivot into Garchomp um, that electric coverage just doesn't do anything, right? So, Braviary is really nice. Um, you can go with something like, what's this thing, Murkrow? Um, and then what you can do now with the Murkrow is not only do you get access to Tailwind, uh, but now you get a Sunny Day move, okay? Uh, and now you get the, the nice boost for Flutter Main, uh, for, for Protosynthesis. Uh, so th this is also another option on the team, uh, for, in terms of that. So, you know, you got a nice support mod, you got Intimidate, so you got, you got, like, a, a support... Uh, coming from these two over here uh, and then this last one you know I, I could just pick a grass type I, I do like Amoongus here um, if you want like the redirection to help either set up Trick Room set up Tailwind set up Dragon Dance by the way you know I think it, whether it's Garchomp or you know Gyarados Garchomp I think also wait Garchomp doesn't get Dragon Dance right no of course not it gets a uh, Swords Dance so you always have that option too I think you just want Protect though okay um, but if you do go like a Swords Dance set, then, you know, you can just put the Life Orb back on this thing or put the Life Orb over here, uh, and then just go with a Dragon Dance set. Uh, but I can just, you could just put like a Lumberry here, honestly, just in case they want to burn or paralyze you. Um, that could be very detrimental. Uh, but either way, um, I do like a Fire, Water, Grass core in this case, uh, just because uh, you know, it's a nice VGC core, good pivot options. And then you got a Dragon Fairy Steel core as well, right? You got Dragon with the Steel typing over here, uh, and then Flutter Main um, is our is our Fairy coverage, right? So this is one way to do it. Um, redirection, you got Speed Control with Tailwind, you got Trick Room also over here, uh, and then Chiyu uh, is a really nice uh, complement to Flutter Main with the spread move damage. Garchomp and Gyarados, they're your physical hitters. Uh, that can come in and push out a lot of damage and then Murkrow just gives you Tailwind and Sunny Day, you know, just and 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 what's good about Sunny Day here and again is, you know, that helps Chiyu as well, right? Uh, sunny Day Heat Waves, okay, it does a lot of damage. So I kind of like this core. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's one way to do it. Uh, again, I'll do like all of this stuff, you know, in like a full team building video, but you know, this is 
uh, at least a good core. Uh, but let's look at another potential core that we can do. Okay, the other core you could also try is like Flutter Main and then Torkoal, right? So like Torkoal will give you the drought, uh, and then Flutter Main, uh, of course, benefits from the drought because of, of photosynthesis, right? So you go always have these two. Uh, then you could even add Brute Bonnet, you know, for redirection support with Rage Powder, um, and then Spore, and then two stab moves like you know, was it Crunch, uh, and then Seed Bomb. You could do that. Okay, uh, and then just use these three. So like, you know, Ghost, Fairy, Fire, and then Dark, Grass, Dark, right? So this is like, uh, build around these three, all right? And then from there, you know, maybe you want like a Trick Room Setter, uh, a physical Trick Room Sweeper uh, for that reason, and then just have like Fake Out or Intimidate Support. Uh, and then you're, you're kind of chilling, right? And there it is. Like, I think those are like the two ways that you want to try and build the Lottery Main, right? Either you put it on a, like a, a Sun Team with Torkoal, or you go the Balance route, Okay, and then you just put like something with Sunny Day, like a Murkrow, for example, on the team. Uh, and then, you know, just go with like balance options surrounding Fluttermane like we did in the, the first team building video, right? First team, soft team building construction, right? So, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, let, let me know what you think of what we said about Fluttermane in this video. Let me know what kind of sets uh, that you want to consider doing, whether it's the Life Orb set, the Sash set, the Choice Spec set, the Calm Mind set. Uh, the, what else did, what else, what was the other set? The energy booster set, the bulky set. Um, you have options to play with it, but I think honestly, um, just where, where, where is it? I think I have it over here. Um, yeah, there it is. So like, I think just the, the life orb set or this set, the trick room with you, or even the spec set. I think these are like your best options. Um, and then the other two are a little bit more ambitious. If you just want to try something. I hate that they don't have the, the picture of Fluttermane, right? So, um, but yeah, we'll put this in the video description and then we'll cover more of the Paradox Mons uh, in the next video, guys. Uh, so peace out and have a good night.